Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to make your own slinky bubble ladder with my new bubble gun. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is a container of water that's about the same height as my slinky, a stir rod. I'm using Dawn dish detergent and my bubble gun. The first step is to add your dish detergent to your water. And I don't have a specific recipe for the best bubble solution. Some people add glycerin to their soap and um, I'm just making this solution out of Dawn dish detergent and we'll see if it creates bubbles that are strong enough to hold to a slinky. The next step is to lower your slinky into your bubble solution. And you want to make sure that the whole slinky is covered in water and get some of that bubble solution on your hand so that your hand, your skin, doesn't break the surface tension of the bubble. And then raise the slinky and you should see that there's a soap bubble that forms around the ribs of the slinky. And this looks like it's working pretty good. Okay, in the interest of being able to see the soap bubbles climb the slinky ladder, I've added some oil to my bubble gun. So hopefully it'll make some smoke bubbles that are really easy to see. Let's find out if it's working. That's a pretty good, yeah, that's a pretty good soap bubble. So we're gonna add some of these soap bubbles to our slinky ladder to see if they'll climb the ladder when we pop the bubble that's made along the ribs of the slinky. So I'm gonna get my hands wet and soapy so that my skin doesn't pop the bubble. And uh, this is kind of a two-man job. I'm gonna try to do it by myself. There it is. There it is right there. Uh, let's try that again. There's the bubble. Let's see if I pop it down below here, if it will rise. Let's try that again. Pop it down here. There it goes. Look at that. <laughs> it worked. I start a bubble here. It's a pretty big bubble. Pop it down here, see if it rises. There it goes. It's gonna go all the way to the top. Here it goes. Oh, it almost made it to the top. <laughs> there it is. Here it goes. Up, up, up. Oh, it almost made all. Here it goes, here it goes. And it made it to the top. So you might be wondering, what makes the bubble climb the slinky ladder? Why doesn't the bubble descend if I pop the slinky bubble underneath it? What causes that bubble to rise? I put a smoke bubble right here in the middle and I pop it below. Why does this bubble want to rise in the slinky? Why doesn't it go back down? It seems to want to keep going up. That's a good question. And I think it has something to do with the bubble surface tension, but I think it also has to do with the fact that a water molecule is both cohesive and adhesive. Water molecules are polar molecules. They tend to stick to the slinky, but they're also cohesive in that they tend to stick to each other. And I think if the bubbles pop down here, but there's still some soapy water up here, that bubble is gonna be attracted to the soapy water that's up here, and it's gonna keep climbing the slinky. I think part of this is you have to burst the slinky bubble below the smoke bubble. So I'm gonna burst it down here. So it's attracted to the water molecules at the top of the slinky, causing it to climb. So one way that you could illustrate this is with a couple of watch glasses. I'm gonna get both of these soapy, and I'm just gonna blow a bubble on each of them and see if that bubble, one bubble will merge with the other one. Let's find out if they're right next to each other. 
if one will slowly merge with the other. I'm just gonna get them close to each other. Look at that. They were attracted to each other. And I think that part of that is their surface tension. I, I think that the soap decreases the surface tension of the water, but I think it's also because water molecules are cohesive. They're attracted to one another. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramseyland and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's presentation, be sure to like and subscribe.